The System Apocalypse Books 1-3, the post-apocalyptic lit RPG fantasy series by Tao Wong, is a high-stakes adventure set in a world where Earth has been subjected to the system, a reality where the rules of gaming and fantasy now govern the planet's very existence. The series blends elements of sci-fi, fantasy, and role-playing games, casting John Lee as the protagonist who struggles to survive and adapt to the new harsh world. Book 1, Life in the North The series begins with Life in the North, which introduces us to John Lee immediately after the system's arrival. He's a regular Canadian resident who finds his life turned upside down when Earth merges with a reality ruled by game-like mechanics. Monsters roam the land, people acquire classes and levels, and society as we knew it crumbles overnight. In this new world order, humans must either adapt quickly or perish. John, who selects the Enchanter class, must learn to navigate the system's rules, gaining levels and power to increase his chances of survival. He battles monsters, and the harsh environment as the cold northern climate becomes even more lethal with the advent of dangerous creatures and the collapse of civilization. John gathers other survivors around him, forging a community in which he becomes a reluctant leader. Together, they face the initial wave of monsters and begin to rebuild their lives amidst the chaos. Struggles around power, resources, and survival strategies emerge, forcing John to confront both external enemies and internal conflicts within the group. Book 2, Stars Awoken. In Stars Awoken, the second book, John's journey continues as he delves deeper into the mysteries of the system. Months have passed since the world changed, and with his newfound powers and status as a leader, John dedicates himself to strengthening his community. However, new challenges arise, both from the evolving world and emerging threats. The system moves into its next phase, exposing Earth to the wider universe, or the system space, which is filled with more advanced species and civilizations. Earth now has to contend with external alien forces who have their own interest in the planet's resources and strategic position. John and his fellow survivors must not only continue battling the dangers on their own world, but also prepare for the interstellar politics and potential warfare with alien species. During this time, John gains a better understanding of the overarching complexities of the system and his role within it. As John's power grows, so does his list of enemies. Faced with betrayal and a series of brutal confrontations, John must quickly learn whom to trust. Amidst the external threats, internal division threatens the fragile unity of Earth's survivors. John's leadership is put to the test, and he must rise above the conflicts to protect his people and their future. Book 3, Silent Wars. By Silent Wars, John continues to grapple with alien factions and the unrelenting dangers of his environment. His understanding of the system deepens further, and he becomes more embedded in the politics and alliances that span across planets and species. John's leadership and combat abilities are honed, and he has developed into a skilled fighter and tactician. Earth's position within the larger universe becomes more precarious as the true intention of the system and the purpose of its trials begin to unravel. With this increased understanding comes greater peril, as knowledge of the system's endgame could make John a target for those seeking to exploit or control the outcome. Meanwhile, John's personal growth remains central to the storyline. His humanity is constantly put to the test, as are his morals and willpower. He wrestles with the consequences of his decisions and the toll of constant war on his psyche. As a figure who stands between his people and annihilation, he frequently borders on the edge of darkness, forced to make decisions that could compromise his own values. Throughout Silent Wars, John and his companions fight in numerous conflicts. Meanwhile, they also delve into cloak and dagger situations where espionage and subterfuge are as lethal as any monster. The silent wars are the battles fought in the shadows, the shaping of alliances, and the maneuvers that could either ensure Earth's independence or doom it to being a pawn in the cosmic game. Throughout the first three books, the stakes rise continuously as John faces increasingly powerful adversaries and navigates more complex situations. As the title of the series suggests, the survival of humanity and the fight to uphold some semblance of civilization amidst the chaos of the system apocalypse remain a persistent theme. John's journey is not only about overcoming external challenges, 
but also about personal evolution and the struggle to maintain humanity's spirit against overwhelming odds. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.